Veronica Lloyd. <laughs> being a student can be tough, but being a student with a roommate can be far worse. We're here to teach you some methods that I found useful when dealing with potentially terrible roommates. With Veronica's help, we will make sure this is a easy and painless process for everyone. Ready, Veronica? Ready, Jade. for the hardworking student. Oh, you mean a prison for the non-hardworking student that doesn't have money for the bar? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, Here we have Min and Tegan who are going to help us demonstrate. And together, the four of us will show you what it takes to be a great roommate. and I don't know. I, what are you doing here? I was told I would not have a roommate. Eh. Wrong. See, Veronica's problem here is that she's not open to the possibility of even having a roommate, when the reality is, the likelihood of you not having a roommate for the entire semester is lower than absolute zero. Is that even possible? <laughs> yes. yes. Now, Let's try that again. Well, hi there. My name is Veronica. How about a beer? See, that time, Veronica's response was one of a joyful sound. And notice the detail as she perfectly wiped the can across Min's forehead before she offered it to her? This is a sign of welcome. Great job, girls. Now, on to the next lesson. see what the problem is here. I mean, Jade just needs to loosen up a bit. I'm gonna go stick to the script. <clears throat> so, you don't want to disturb your roommate late hours of the evening, especially when they have a test the next day. But hey, we're all human, right? And whether we admit it or not, we all have a secret urge to party. When yours pops up at a time like this, there are a few ways you can handle it. Let's try this again. Well done. Lame, but well done. I'm going to give a little exposition on how to take care of your roommate outside of the dorm. You need to realize that this person is going to be around you for an entire year. I know, what the hell, right? It's important to utilize this as much as possible. The odds of both roommates being completely dumb are low, so use each other to get better in your studies. Might as well, right? Hey, Veronica. 
Would you mind helping me with this quiz based on a subject I am not yet familiar with? I'm sorry, Tegan, but it is not my job to help you with quizzes based on subjects you are not familiar with. What the hell wrote this? Veronica, shut up! We know it's not your job, Veronica, okay? But you're gonna regret it when the tables turn, so let's do this again. Veronica. Veronica, we're rolling. Rolling. But I suppose I am more familiar with this. Maybe I can help you and you can reciprocate later. I know you're good at math and I hate school in general. You girls are rock stars. Intimacy is inevitable. Lots of people will be first timers or you might just be straight up fiends. But you don't want to let that slow you down. You will walk in on stuff like... Or the most common thing to walk in on is the lovemaking synchronizing ritual. It's... It's gonna happen. You just have to be mentally prepared. And here's a simple solution. First, you want to collect the sweat from the roommate or person that you most commonly walk in on. This is to ensure that you're already used to the smell that they will probably produce during coitus. Next, we take about a pound of petroleum jelly and throw it in the mix. Now it's just a matter of adding in the things you hate the most. I remember one time I added my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> now it's just applying the solution. You put it on three specific areas. It's important that this solution is the right temperature. To ensure this, you must run exactly 2.7 miles at the highest point of the National Mall. ready, but hold your entry into the sex-filled room until after you hear a third moan. That is a sign that your roommate knows you're there and that you're entering the room. You've been given the green light. Now, instead of the sounds and sights you might normally be accustomed to, you are only thinking about the terrible smell that is coming from your body. Well, we hope you enjoyed this edition of Roommate Etiquette with me, Jade Simmons and my good friends, Veronica, Min Young, and Tegan. Yes. Yes, support the J treatment, like how everyone who's awesome is doing. I think I wanna, I think I wanna say that in a tree or something. In a tree? Yeah. She's gonna say your line up there. <laughs> Just. Get out. Did she, did she get it? This is a smaller tree, so... Okay. Ah. Ow! I don't know if the school's gonna allow this. If you don't try to, let's just, what yeah. Go ahead and say the, the line. No, you're fine. I think you're good. I'm, I, I think you're good. Yes, so, the point is